Hi guys, my name is Ivan. So today I'm going to show you how to use the African Stocking SSD using Node and uh, MongoDB. So we want uh, we will um, everything will be dynamic. So basically, we will add data to the <coughs> database and uh, let's let's just create a new user and then adding the data to the database. So I hope everyone is familiar with Node and MongoDB. So first thing first, uh, if I'm using my operating system is Ubuntu. So if you're using Windows, uh, it's just the same thing. Uh, so basically, if you want to download Node.js, so basically you just have to come here to the Node.js website, and then on the downloads menu here, uh, you guys will love to download the Node.js. So there's the Windows installer, and then if there's Ubuntu, so you guys have to. You can also download the um, the soft code. Anyway, so after downloading the Node.js, uh, please do download the MongoDB. This is the database that I'm using currently. Uh, I am a Monstack developer, so that means. Uh, so this is my stack. So that means. Uh, Without the uh, A, this is uh, this means for the Angular, but uh, my stack is MongoDB, ExpressJS, React, and React Native, and Node.js. So first thing first, um, uh, so you should have uh, African Stocking account. Uh, so, so let me log into my account. So uh, I already have my African stocking account. So this is their website. So if you want to log in, we will come back here later. So nothing is um, <coughs> this is the African stocking account. Another tool that we'll be using in this tutorial will be the ng rock. So the ng rock. So basically, it, it will provide us uh, with the URL that we'll have access to it online so or in a different computer or it will be just be online uh, so let me get first let me create a new application right here hope everyone can see my terminal uh, let me zoom it so that's my terminal so let me move to the desktop directory inside the desktop directory let me add a new a new folder so the ssd folder so inside the ssd so let me so inside here inside the ssd folder let me initialize our new app so it's a node.js app so you have to initialize it so it's npm in it and if you want everything to be answered for you so you, you just add um, uh, um, what is it? Um, the minus sign and then the Y. And then if you press enter, so our packet.json file has been created for us. So let's uh, let's open this project in our Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code. Instead of Visual Studio Code, as you can see, this is our packet.json. Our main file is the index.js. It can be any file. It can be app.js so let me just add a new so let me create this new file so after creating this new file let me add some of the main libraries that we'll be using so first thing first is the express uh, library another one is um, the body parser this will allow us to uh, uh, use the post methods in our application another thing is uh, the mongoose because we want this tutorial to be dynamic so that means this ssd will be dynamic so we will create a new user retrieve the new user basically that is that's it so create a new user and then in, inside the database so everything will be dynamic so another thing is uh, i think that's all and then what else uh, let's install this dependencies it will take some time and then 
let's wait for it okay I think everything has been installed yes correctly so first thing first let us install uh, let us import express require express Uh, let us uh, require the body parser. Also, let us require Mongoose. So, it's kind of Mongoose is an ORM. So, basically, it provides the connection between our database and our application. So, Mongoose. What else? Um, let me create a, a initialize a new variable so this will so as you can see it creates an application application so this method will create a new express application so this uh, application will its port will listen on port so let's say let's specify a new port so port 8000 So let me say console log. Let me log this. App is running on port. That's it. Let me format my uh, name to the right way. So that's it. And then I can give a space. Another thing is uh, so let me <coughs> so let me create a new database so uh, mongoose mongodb connection let me create a new database connection so inside the mongodb connection first thing first let's uh, create a new url database url so the database url will be mongodb i've already installed mongodb in my localhost so local machine so slash you can use the port as you can specify the port 27017 or and then let's name the database so let's say um, my ussd and then let's create the connection connect to this database url and then mongoose let's create a new variable db connection as you can see here the moon okay so let's write some conditions so if the database is on and if there's an error So log error once the database is open and it is running let us do uh, console log database is running another thing is uh, let's initialize the body parser the, the body parser let us use the body parser. So the body parser, this is how you internalize it. Use the body parser. The JSON app use so to find this code right here. If you're confused about this code, uh basically I'm using it. So if you go to the um, npm body parser documentation this is where you'll find all this code as you can see you require the 
the module and then um, as you can see uh, past the body passage of JSON application right here so basically we are trying to connect the body passage to the application so these are the um, there's that command that we, we will use this the body parser and then there's this the URL called false so uh, from there now uh, what else so let's create our first uh, method so it will be a get method and then so let's say rest so let's send uh, let's send a message to be a success message so I'm using Nodemon to run my application so let me clear this and then you can use node uh, like that this would basically run our application but you can use Nodemon which will automatically automatically refresh refresh our application every time when we run our, our uh, when we save our our code any changes that we save it will automatically refresh our the server rather than using the node.js index it won't refresh the server you have to exit and then run the command again so our app is running so on port 8000 so basically let's go to localhost port 8000 as you can see uh, we have received a, uh, received a message success message so basically because african stocking so let me log into my african stocking you have to provide uh, a url so i'm on my i'm on my application right now we can use the god uh, sandbox so before i come here let, uh, we we want to. There are many ways you can host this website on uh, on a Roku or on, on your live server, production server, anything, and then you use just the URL, the domain name, or the IP address. But right now, because uh, we d we want uh, we, I want the video to be short enough, we can use um, what is it called? You can use Jrock to create a uh, to create a, an online uh, a, a, I mean, a URL that we will use so basically if you want to create a a specific a custom URL so basically Jira so these are the instructions of installing Jira Just come here to the Jrock website and Jrock, whatever it is called, and then just come here to the download. Follow these instructions. I think there are three instructions, and then that's it. So we will use this command. I've already installed mine on my PC. So I'm just going to say Jrock HTTP, and then specify the port. Our port is running, our app is running on port 8000. Oh, sorry, I have to move to the downloads. So, this is our custom uh, URL, and this is what we are going to use on our Afghan stocking. So so go back to the African stocking application let me exit this and then right here inside the African stocking go to your sandbox so you have to sign up to African stocking go to sandbox app inside the sandbox uh, I have already I have some service calls uh, right here but I can create a new service uh, code right here so let me say First of all, let me copy paste the new URL, callback URL. Inside the um, let me input um, a random number. So let's see. So 
the number is currently unavailable so let me just copy this new number or this the center one the 51 5 I think this I can remember this so let me copy that so our service code has been created so this is the service code so basically for the sandbox sandbox this is for testing purposes so to test this you have to launch the simulator by clicking on that it will direct you to a new uh, a new tab so enter your phone number go to the ussd option there are many options there's the sms ussd payments airtime the voice currently we're using the ussd so our short code which is a short short code uh ussd code so we will copy paste this basically when we run it nothing will happen right so what you have to do now is go back to our code and then let's create a post method so let's say a post and then uh, let me log out let me log the the body so when you log out the body let's see the logs so so when you run this as you can see this is the current logs that is coming we are logging in uh, so as you can see this is the text the service code the phone number so to do this what you will have to so let us get this variable so the phone number what else uh, this is the text this is the text and uh, what else uh, we can use the session ID so let's use the session ID Uh, session ID All right, so these are the things that we, we will use in our application The most common we'll use is the text for this tutorial So first thing first, let's create a new a Variable called response and then down here uh, let's write a function so let's call this method function set on out mass function let's put this 5000 1500 so I will explain this so we can do two seconds inside here uh, we want to send this response back so we'll say res dot response and then let's say let's send this response by uh, let's end it sorry and so I will come back here I will explain what this function is about so another thing is uh, we want to capture this text by default if you haven't entered anything uh, the string will be empty so let's say the first thing is let's say uh, let's do so down uh, in between here and here this is where you write your your if statements so let's say first of all if text is empty if the string is empty what should be done so the response is equals to con print this so con means printing so uh, I'm not sure what it means but let me uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll research that and then I'll come back on I'll, I'll explain that what con means and then uh, I can 